Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I am really excited. I am going to be testing out the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. I've never tried the LA Girl HD Foundation, so I'm really wondering how this works. I don't know if I got the right shade. I mean, it looks like it, but they're like the shades were weird. Like this is medium beige, so I hope I got the right color. So yeah, this foundation at Ulta, sorry, I'm looking on my phone, the prices. Um, at Ulta, it is $8.99 and it costs um, $8.99. Um, in the LA Girl website, it is $10 and there is 14 shades. Um, so if you buy it through LA Girl, there are more shades for you to choose from. This um, LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation, it's an HD high definition longwear matte foundation. It says it is medium to full coverage, long lasting formula, and soft suit matte matte finish so the packaging of this foundation um it is matte it has like a matte little lid the bottle is matte and it is glass so that's nice it looks like really expensive but it really isn't um it does come with the pump which i really like the fit me foundation i love that foundation but i do not like that there is no pump. my skin type used to be really oily but after I had my son, um, my skin went like dry in certain areas um, and then oily nose and forehead and like just right here. So I'm wondering how it works now. If I were to have used this and it's good for matte, um, like oily people, it would have been really nice when I had super oily skin. So I am wondering how it's going to look like in my dry patches. So yeah, if you want to see how this foundation wears, then just keep on watching. So I am just going to be using my normal Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer. Um, I just really like this one. It gives me some moisture and it does reduce the appearance of pores a little bit. And I like the texture of it as well. This is a new one because I finished my old one. And we are just going to rub that in. So I zoomed you in a little bit. Um, now that my uh, primer is in, we are going to try the foundation out. I am going to be doing one side with a sponge. This is the Real Technique sponge. And one with a... This is Elf's powder brush, but I use this to apply foundation. Like, I really like it to apply foundation. So we're going to try and see what's better, brush or sponge. Um, I don't know if you can see, I have some redness here on my nose. I tried um, popping some blackheads, but when I squeezed, it's like if, I don't know if you know when like you cut yourself or like you hit yourself and it doesn't fully cut, so like the blood just like clots underneath. That's what happens, so it's like just red bruised around my nose. And then I do have some um, like scarring, not scarring, I popped the blackhead. I have uh, like an obsession with popping blackheads um, on this side. So I'm going to do, just because this side is redness, I am going to apply it with the sponge. Just because I feel like with the sponge I can pack it on better. Then this side that, that doesn't really have anything, I am going to apply it with the brush. So I am just going to pump some onto my sponge. Oh, and the color that I got is medium beige. I'm nervous. I don't know if I got the right color, but let's see. Just gonna dot it on my face. I feel like that's a pretty good color. I'm gonna do one side at a time just because I don't know if this foundation dries quick or not. Can you guys see though? It literally covered everything. Okay, I'm gonna apply some more just so I could cover my forehead. I don't do full pumps, so I don't know how many pumps that was. Okay, so this is one side done with the sponge. I feel like it gives really good coverage. The color is actually pretty good. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, it might be a little bit darker, but it's not so much darker. Um, it did cover 
most of the redness I mean you can see a little bit peeking through but it is literally not a lot and now we are gonna use the brush for this side this I'm just gonna put on my face just because I don't like doing it um on the brush I feel like it soaks it up I don't know and we are just gonna pat it all right so now I have both sides done I'm just gonna um, look into the mirror to see which side it looks better um I mean, they both look good, but I feel like the sponge side is a little more smooth than the brush side. I'm going to try to add another layer of foundation with the sponge just on this side where the redness is to see if it is buildable. Okay guys, so this is how the foundation looks. I feel like it looks pretty good. It matches my skin color pretty good. It might be a teeny, teeny, teeny bit off, a little darker, but it, I mean, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, I like the finish so far. It doesn't feel sticky at all. It literally feels like powder. Like it's already set. So I know it's gonna be matte all day. Um, on, under my eye, I'm going to zoom you in so you can see. So under my eyes, this is normally where I get a little dry. And as you can see, it is a little like patchy there. But that's pretty common. Like I, not common, it's pretty normal for me. I always tend to get really dry down there. So we'll see. So yeah, it is now 11.23. I am going to finish off the rest of my makeup off of camera and then I will be back to show you how everything applied um, with the foundation. Okay guys, so I am back. Um, my face is done. It is now 12.23. Um, I mean, I like how the foundation looks, but I'm going to zoom you guys in. Um, I don't know if you can tell if it looks dry but it is a little drying so me i have somewhat oily skin throughout the day but i guess when i apply it it's too dry for my face and then under my eyes it looks like i have eye boogies all around my eyes because it's so dry but i do like how the foundation looks overall i'm thinking maybe with like a luminizing or dewy um primer and then hydrating my skin it would look way better so hopefully it works. I am going to have a pretty busy day today. I'm going to go take my mom to the do to a doctor's appointment she has. And then later on, I am going to the gym. So I am going to wear this foundation for about 8 to 10 hours. Remember, I did put it on at 11.23 a.m. Sorry, my son is here. If you hear screaming, that is him. So yeah, I will let you guys know how this foundation wears. Um... And I'll show you guys how it looks in um, like outside in the natural lighting. It is a little cloudy now, so I don't know how it's going to look, but I'll show you guys anyways. Okay, guys, so I just wanted to show you really quick how this looks in natural light or in like the daylight out in the street. Um, as you can see, it looks pretty good. I feel like my under eyes look a little like creased, but other than that, it looks pretty good. It is 12.58, so not that much longer from my last update. Um, but yeah, I will keep you guys posted. Okay, guys, so it is now 5.57. That means I've had this foundation on since 11.23, so 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 6 hours. Um... I mean, it still looks pretty good. I'm really not oily at all. If it does look shiny, it's probably the highlighter. But so far, it's been so good. Um, 
the only thing is i am seeing some redness peeking through around my chin and a little bit on my nose but other than that it is doing pretty good i'm about to go to the gym right now um so I will update you guys later on how it looks with working out. I've worked out with other foundations. They've, they've been pretty good. There's one that's not the greatest. So I'm going to see how this one does with working out and sweat and things like that. But yeah, I will update you guys later in my last update. Okay guys, so I am here to do my last update. I am super tired. Uh, we just got home a little bit ago. So I put my kids down. It is now... 10.01 so I've had this foundation on since 11.23 so that is about nine and a half hours I did go to the gym and this is what it is looking like after about nine and a half hours so it is pretty good it it's only wearing off a little bit right here. I don't know if you can see some like of my normal skin peeking through. And then my chin area, you can see the redness and a little bit on my nose. Um, that a little bit more, but I mean, so far it was good. Um, I was picking at my eyelashes. Um, under my eyes, it did get a little more like dry, but not like super bad. Um, so, so far, this foundation is the bomb. It's really good. I would recommend if you have combination or drier skin to use a dewy um, primer or just hydrate your skin really well because this is super matte. But for those that have oily skin, this would probably be a really good option for you guys. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one.